Uh, we covered this story last week. A 16-year-old now facing attempted murder charges after a shooting right outside of Sulin High School. A 14-year-old was injured last yeah. Thursday, and another 14-year-old was arrested. But now we're being told that he's been released. And this is all happening as parents question the district. <laughs> okay. So the 14-year-old has been released, you know, already. You shoot somebody at school, they hold you for a few days and you get out. And you're on the block, you're around the neighborhood, you're talking with your boys and shit. How are they supposed to think that that's, I mean, think about it. If I'm your boy, think about an odd day. It was fights at school, you'd be suspended for a week and shit, suspended for two weeks and shit, fighting and shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, this kid shot somebody at school. And at first he was in a huge brawl, then he shot somebody, and then, I mean, whether it was self-defense, whether he was in the right or wrong or nothing, he's home a few days later, and he's got boys. He's got he's from a hood, and everybody just like, "What's up, man?" Da, da, da. Oh man, that shit wasn't about nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like shit, it's like shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't any shit, you know? That ain't can't end well. Uh, yeah, it's just that did not end well. <laughs> the, the messages they send in these kids these days, man, is it is is it, there's no way you can have uh, it can help the violence. It can only hurt. A 16-year-old now facing attempted murder charges after a shooting right outside of Suitland High School. A 14-year-old was injured last Thursday, and another 14-year-old was arrested. But now we're being told that he's been released. And this is all happening as parents question the district's transparency surrounding what happened. Fox 5's Donna St. Bones, who was standing by live outside the Ooh. school where a town hall took place tonight. Donna? Donna. Jim and Angie, good evening. That safety meeting just wrapped up about an hour ago, and you could see some parents coming out, shaking their heads, some saying that they're frustrated knowing that they didn't get answers to some of their questions. On top of the news today about a second arrest in Thursday's shooting. The first time that I'm hearing that they arrested someone else was tonight. We thought that the situation was. She cross eyed like shit, baby. Do not shake your head when you cross eyed. Don't do like this if you cross eyed. The first time that I'm hearing that they arrested someone else was tonight. We thought that the situation was under control Thursday. From the looks of it and the words shared at a press conference on Thursday after the shooting, Prince George's County Police Chief Malika Z said his officers had a 14 year old student in custody. We believe that person, his involvement warranted us to make the arrest and that we are investigating that properly right now. During the lockdown on Thursday, as parents waited outside, some speculated that the shooter was still on the loose. In an update from police today, they inform us that the 14-year-old student was released and a 16-year-old in connection with the shooting turned himself in on Tuesday. The teen is facing multiple charges, including attempted first-degree murder. Police say a verbal altercation led to a fight and seconds later, shots were fired. Sending a 14-year-old boy to the hospital. Tonight, school leaders hosted a community town hall inside the auditorium to discuss the... <laughs> they had a town hall, man. This, these shits do nothing, man. I mean, it, salute to the parents for showing up. I mean, that's the only thing it does do is it shows which parents actually will show up to something like this. But other than that, it accomplishes nothing. Tonight, school leaders hosted a community town hall inside the auditorium to discuss the safety and security at the school. I came here tonight as a concerned parent to make sure that it's a two-way street, that if the um, school is saying that we need to do more or whatever to be a partnership. That's what we're here for, but it's, it doesn't feel that way. Tanya Brooks tells us that leaders were playing the blame game. Who are they trying to put the blame on? It, 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 anybody but themselves. Mm. It seems like all the blame is going on either the parents or the students. And the meeting leaders did. Well, I mean, <laughs> the kids nobody's were... going to take responsibility. I mean, I mean, no one ever will. No. No one wants to because everyone secretly knows that it's unsolvable and unfixable. So, like, why would you want to be responsible for something that no one in history can ever fix? I mean, that's a good point. Yeah, there's no way. They, they intuitively know it. I don't think they know it 
like consciously, but I think everybody intuitively knows that. Like, I'm at the I'm at the point where I feel like there should just be no more public schools. Well, then where are the kids gonna go? I mean, most of these kids ain't learning shit anyway. I'm then I'm dead ass serious. I'm talking about in 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 cities like Baltimore and all these places where you got like a seventeen percent graduation rate and shit. Like, let's just stop wasting everybody's fucking time and money. If your child is academically inclined at all, then you pay something for them to go to school. But there is no more. Everybody just wake up and for free all show up at this building and we pretend we teaching somebody something. Really? I, 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 I disagree with that because what I think is that the public school it serves as a place to keep those kids for six hours a day. It babysits them. It right. keeps them confined. It requires and what are they? But what are they doing there? Uh, they shooting they're each shooting other. Them. They're fighting. They're raping. They're doing I all shooting that would be if those kids were. They, they could shoot each other. They won't be shooting you, son. No, Man, no again, I'm someone who came from public schools. I'm also someone now who pays for private schools. And I'm telling you, if you don't have skin in the game, most of these kids and these parents, and that I'm just just a waste of time. Again, y'all could disagree. This is just a waste of time and money. No, I, I don't disagree. They don't have money that. for that, Stunner. They don't have money to do that. I don't disagree that nobody has be doing you, anything. I don't disagree with that. F, am I wrong? In Nigeria, don't they don't everybody have to pay at least something? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. if they can do it, we can do it. Yeah, but but hold on, hold on. Listen, man. These Sun teens, without being in a place, because those schools, even though they have a lot of violence, the violence is still not what they would be doing on the streets during that time. Those kids did not have to be at school. Fucking 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock would be just like fucking overnight in your city. It would be like nighttime. It would be it would be dangerous. It would be crime like a motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta carjackings. You, there is it's, it's already bad. Can yeah, you, you gotta let them. Yeah, you gotta let the schools do what they do, even though the schools aren't. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's serving an alternative purpose. Yeah, to, it's more um, of just like a warehouse. Uh, yeah, exactly. Warehouse. It's warehousing people to and to an extent where they're not learning and they're leaving there not neutrally warehoused. They're leaving there indoctrinated in even more dangerous and radical thoughts but they have no skills i'd pay for it i i'll i'll gladly pay for a public school right, system exactly. like would keep the right. give the, yo you just again as somebody who pays property taxes to the public schools in my city that's true too and i pay for pop, uh, private school for my kids I'm telling you, man. If you really, if if education is a priority, you will find a couple of bucks to pay for it. I'm not saying everybody got to pay twenty five thousand, thirty, forty, fifty thousand hey, dollars. If Nigerians no. can pay on a weekly basis, Americans can too. No, no, they don't have money, dude. They don't have money. The thumbnails on them hair, that ain't cheap, dog. They don't yeah. have money, dude. It's behind these. It's priorities, man. And they if don't the have nails. If they the nails are the priority, then let's just keep your 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 dangerous ass sons and daughters at your house with you when you're hurting your nails. They're not gonna stay at the house. They're going to your house. They're not gonna stay in the house. Yeah, let me move along, man. Either their parents or the students. And the meeting leaders did tell parents, we need you, and asked them to do their part. They went on to express their frustration as well, adding that they are working to raise morale throughout the school. I chose Suitland because my daughter wanted to come here, not because I chose Suitland. And she wanted to be a part, she wanted to be a part of the performing arts program. Brooke says she's getting ready to pull her daughter out of Suitland. Y'all need to get it together because what you're gonna do is lose kids and their interest in education. You can tell she's about now, that life. Now, at the meeting today, some parents did bring up metal detectors and additional safety measures. The school district says they will continue and the who's gonna pay for that shit? next week, Tuesday, at their next PT. Look, man, I'd pay for it. If you, uh, I pay my taxes, keep those fuckers off the street. If you need metal detectors, cool. We'll get you metal detectors. <laughs> I don't want those motherfuckers on the streets, man. I want them off the fucking streets. 
Yo, but I do a thunder though, dog. I'm getting killed on property taxes. I so I do a thunder on that. I'm getting killed for paying for these shit schools. But I rather them there than out here. And I and I get it. And 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 trust me, I I understand, man. I I I understand that. But the alternative, dude. Now, we it, did it, reach it out to the ways. district several times today mm. about this investigation, and they couldn't share any additional information with us because they say it is still an active investigation.